Welcome to Unique Mechanics Explained, where I explore the unique mechanics behind some of Path of Exile's most iconic items. Today, I'm going to be talking about Eye of Malice. Eye of Malice is not only quite powerful, but often misunderstood. And as it commonly sees used across multiple builds, it's time to dive in and learn a little bit more about how it works. So, starting off, what modifiers does it have? Evasion and Energy Shield, that's pretty standard. Fire Res, Cold Res, also pretty standard. Then, 25% chance to inflict cold or fire exposure on hit. This is definitely not the reason to use this item. Well, sure, if you hit fast enough, exposure isn't bad, and it's certainly nice if the item has this line of text. I still don't think I'd ever use it just for the exposure. It's just so much easier to get exposure as a glove implicit rather than giving up your helmet. However, the next line is really interesting. Not only is this why Eye of Malice is so often misunderstood, but it's also why it's so powerful. Nearby enemies have 50% increased fire and cold resistances, which on its face sounds bad, because nearby enemies are increasing their resistances, thus making them stronger, right? Well, not quite, because increases and reductions are simply multipliers to an existing number. So let's go into a couple of theoretical scenarios here. Let's look at the effects of Eye of Malice on my current Cold Dot Elementalist. First up, against an enemy with 0% base resistance. I inflict cold exposure for 11%, increased additionally by 25% due to being an elementalist. Furthermore, I curse the enemy with both elemental weakness for 30% and frostbite for 17. With void beacon, I lower their cold resistance by another 20, and by chilling them, it's down another 5 again. So, just by default, if I walk near an enemy that has no base resistances, I put them at negative 108 cold resistance. Congratulations, go me, they take double damage. I have Malice increases their cold resistance by 50%. You might think, all right, now they're at negative 58. No, 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 no. It increases their resistances by 50%, or takes the number, 108, and multiplies it by 1.5. So now they have negative 162% cold res, and I'm almost all the way to triple damage, effectively speaking. This also means that negative resistance scaling, and therefore Eye of Malice, is more effective on things like Elementalist, where you can greatly descale enemy cold resistance, and less effective the more cold resistance that enemy has. Because let's say the enemy had 75% cold resistance as a baseline, as opposed to the mere zero from before. Well, now they don't go to negative 108. Unfortunately, they go to about negative 33, which isn't that impressive. But again, I have Malice does still act in my favor here, taking the enemy from negative 33 to negative 49% cold resistance. So yes, I have Malice can be a double-edged sword. You can get an enemy that is so massively resistant to cold damage that you can't get their resistances into the negative, in which case I have Malice only makes them stronger. However, especially on Elementalist or any other situation where you can massively descale an enemy resistance, Eye of Malice allows you to win more by pushing enemies further into the negative. You can also use the alternative Fire Ailment Scorch to apply a debuff that lowers enemy resistances. This scales with non-damaging ailment effect, much like Shock, and is a great way to make your Eye of Malice more effective. Unfortunately, no, you don't get to combine this with Doriani's prototype because that works off of enemy lightning resistance and nearby enemies have 50% increased fire and cold resistance. GGG thought of that and they're one step ahead of you. And if you want to learn more about Doriani's prototype or any other unique item in Path of Exile interests you, then do be sure to let me know down in the comments below and then do be sure to get subscribed, leave a like while you're down there so you don't miss the video on your unique of choice. But now, let's talk about some situations where you will and won't use Eye of Malice. And already, I kind of spoiled the first one, Cold Dot Elementalist, because Elementalist has minus 25% resistance built into their ascendancy, you can grab another 20% from a cultist, Dual Curse is really easy to set up, and so overall, pushing enemies' resistances far into the negatives is no problem. But if the icy goodness of Cold Dot isn't really for you, Righteous Fire or Fire Trap Elementalist are also both great options for Eye of Malice. You get pretty much everything I already mentioned, but instead of using Void Beacon to descale enemy cold resistance, you'll instead use something like Combustion to lower enemy fire resistance. Igniting with something like Fire Trap or a supplementary brand really isn't all that difficult. Last up, Hex Blast with Eye of Malice. Now, Hex Blast is chaos damage, so surely 
Lowering elemental resistances doesn't matter, right? Well, normally that would be the case, but Hexblast has a really interesting line, which says chaos damage from hits is resisted by lowest resistance instead. Meaning if you were to use Eye of Malice with a setup very similar to what I mentioned for Cold Dot, and massively lowered enemy cold resistance, not only would you set your Hex Blast up perfectly to be able to freeze enemies as efficiently as possible, but you'd be able to take advantage of their greatly lowered cold resistance to do absolutely massive damage. This is in many ways the best of both worlds. You get the massive resistance descaling typically associated with elemental builds, and you get to combine it with enemies taking increased damage from Wither, typically only associated with chaos builds where your resistance scaling is limited. But where might you not want to use Eye of Malice? Well, the first example is if you don't have a way to lower enemy resistances significantly. Let's say I wasn't an elementalist, so I just have the 10% default exposure. And for whatever reason, I couldn't access dual curse, so I'm stuck to the negative 30%. Well, that's a total of negative 40. Maybe that's all I get. Now, lowering an enemy's resistances by 40% really isn't all that bad but it's certainly not enough to enable Eye of Malice, because what if you're fighting a boss that has 50% elemental resistance? Well, now you've taken them from 10% to 15%, giving up your helmet and increasing their damage. Good job. Or maybe you find a super resistant rare monster and all that resistance completely works against you. The other situation which comes to mind is one where enemy resistances don't matter. Let's say you are playing an Inquisitor of Inevitable Judgment or a Chieftain with Ramako Sun's Light. In both of these cases, you're treating enemy resistances as zero. Therefore, you gain absolutely no benefit from increasing them, reducing them, or any other modification. These builds do not use Eye of Malice because they gain no benefit. Luckily, there's also no penalty, but giving up a helmet is a huge opportunity cost. And those of you unique mechanics belonging to Eye of Malice, along with some builds you should use it in, and some builds that you shouldn't use it in. Again, if there are any other unique items in Path of Exile that you're interested in and want to know more about, maybe I've already done a video on it. If so, check out the playlist. And if I haven't done a video about it, then be sure to suggest below. Like I said before, get subscribed so you don't miss it when I upload that. But now I'm curious, have you played a build with Eye of Malice? And if so, have you ever run across that one enemy that seems impervious to your damage? This is likely an effect of you not being able to push the resistances into the negative and then them getting actually increased in a detrimental manner. If you have, at least now you know why, though killing that enemy still kind of sucks. I guess you just run past and leave that map to him now. That said, if you're looking to check out another video, maybe look at the Eternal Struggle, another really cool and often underrated unique item in Path of Exile. Or if you want something completely different, on my second channel, I recently talked about several games I'm excited for. But that's all for me today. Before I go, a special thanks to my patrons and channel members for the continued support. For as low as $1 a month, you can help make videos just like this one possible. Link to that is down below. And now, thanks for watching, hope you learned something, and I'll see you again sometime soon.